Hi Sagittarius. This is Chronic Joy Tarot and I'm going to be doing your mid-month update for October 2017 for Sun, Moon, and Rising sign of Sagittarius. I pulled a card from, then remember this is a general, general reading so um, if it's not going to you know, land on you at this time, you know, maybe come back and visit it in a, in a couple weeks or look in, in my channel for your own moon and rising sign. If this is your sun sign, you know, or if you want a specific question answered, you can always book a private reading with me. That information is all in the about section of my channel. The um, oracle card I'm using to guide us for theme this time is from the Earth Magic deck by Stephen Farmer. And it's lovely. It takes a lot of the elements um, of our planet and connects them to our spirit. And the card I pulled for you at this time is Dance. Celebrate, Sag. Time to celebrate. There's a certain... Um, Release obviously that happens with physical movement, you know, whether it's running working out yoga dancing um, That there there's a physical there's a physical release, but there's also a, a Spiritual enhancement and you know, just getting in touch with things that bring you joy um, and then Really feeling it and releasing it through your body express it through your body that has a very healing effect Okay you can do this in private, you can do it with the group, you can do it at the gym, um, but this is, it's kind of time to celebrate right now for you, Sag, okay? If you've been through, um, you know, sort of a, a denser period of time recently, or if you're just feeling it, you're just feeling carefree and happy and the fire within you is just moving you along, it's time to let that out. It's time to go ahead and be with it, right? Time to celebrate. So let's see if what where we're at here as far as the Zen spread goes. The starting point here is the friendliness card. So this is saying um, your, hmm, let me see something. Okay, I'm wondering if you are, this is just gonna be for some of you, but that maybe there's been a relationship that has kind of caused you grief. Okay, I I, um, I can't get too specific because this is a general reading, um, but maybe there has been a period of, um, if it's a work relationship, a love relationship, um, familial uh, friendship, that, you know, everybody we know that's a relationship, right? Maybe there has been one that's been a little um, stagnated or a little bit... Um, conflicting, charged with some, some resistant energy. And you're guided now to kind of let it go and celebrate your own place and where you're rooted in this, in this relationship. These two trees are both rooted in the ground. They're both, you know, see one's yellow, one's pink. They have their own beautiful qualities about them. They are close enough to engage and stand side by side. And when they're, where their leaves can join their, they sort of change color because of the chemistry between them, but they're both solidly rooted in their own place. You know, there's a sort of a very strong, deep rooted knowing of, of who each of these trees are. And this is what I'm kind of getting is that maybe in a relationship you've had, there's been some question as to, you know, that space where you merge together there, maybe there's been a pull one way or the other and the balance isn't there. So you're definitely guided to take root in your own heart and soul and who you are and then absolutely celebrate that because your presence here, um, even in relationship to another, your presence has the most meaning for your life, right? Your rootedness, your groundedness. Um, so uh, that was just a stab that maybe some of you are having some relationship struggles and um, they may be soon behind you or already have just passed. And that's time to just like, you know, get in touch with your joy about that. Or if you're finding that you're in a new relationship and the connection's really clear, um, but you're guided to really make sure you stay rooted in 
your experience alone first and then open up to share with the others, right? I think you may have come through maybe a difficult time, maybe Sag, and so it's time to celebrate that. And all the while knowing this first internal energy card here is the creator, all the while knowing you have the power to create your own experience, you know, and if you're, you were in something that was stuck or um, not in your best interest, you had the power, you kind of created it first of all, probably to learn a lesson from it, but you have the power to change it as well. And it comes from tapping into all the things you have to be joyful about and um, really expressing that fully. Okay, in your external world, you might feel like you're moving on from something. God, I'm, uh, this whole thing is making me feel like this is maybe a, um, a conflict, um, but you are moving past it. And either you're moving away from that person in particular, or you're both rising above it and moving beyond it and learning from it. Definitely time to stay in touch with the things about this connection that make you feel joyful and to express that express it outwardly because that brings about positive change okay dwelling on the things that are wrong is really only going to get you tangled up and um losing your sense of you know trueness to your you know um to your own nature okay the next internal card is the outsider now you might feel like you're le you're being left out from something or that if you um you know, we're in conflict with someone, you might feel that leaving it behind is, is um, going to leave you alone and feeling like, um, you know, you don't belong or, or that you're not, that, you, you know, your place isn't clear in, in this um, situation. But it is, it's fine. You know, the little boy feels like he wants to get past that gate, but he can because that lock isn't even locked. So it's really a matter of taking a step forward. And because the guidance here is the celebration card, my sense is that step forward for you and moving forward down your path starts with joy, starts with tapping into what brings you joy and focusing on that for a little while, okay? I mean, I'm not saying, you know, live with your head in the clouds and never focus on your daily chores or your, your responsibilities. But don't lose sight of things that bring you joy because really what, <laughs> I mean, could you imagine not ever having to be able to acknowledge our joy? It's time for you to do that now, just for a couple weeks or so, if you don't already. <laughs> Hopefully you already do. And then in your external world, this will all manifest as a higher sense of love and connection with others. Your capacity for compassion will increase as a result of tapping into your internal um, peace and joy and letting it out. It will, it will enhance your connections with others. It will um, enhance your sense of where you stand in connection to everyone, to, you know, globally to everyone. You'll, you'll get a sense of um, a heart connection with everyone around you by making sure you stay rooted in your own happiness, even if a connection with another is bringing you some challenge, you know, stay connected to what it is that, um, that keeps your joy tank filled. Okay. And the apex here, the top of the internal line of, um, cards is the silence card. And that is saying definitely this is saying dance out loud and, and express your joy out loud and know inside, you know, this is also a sort of a third eye card. So know inside and intuitively, um, you know, when and where that's, that's the time to do it. You know, pull in and stay in touch with your internal self and that, that sense of you're creating every step of the way, right? Stay inside. Make sure to balance um, a little bit of prayer or meditation time in for yourself, okay? And um, I think I had someone tell me once on this channel, it was kind of funny, that I have no idea what meditation is about. Actually, I have been meditating for quite a long time, 
And I, my, in my experience, meditation shifts. The, the actual sense of it, the need for it, and the, um, the way that you go about it, your method changes with the tide. You know, there have been many times I've done just a walking meditation as I'm walking and I'm just very mindful of every step and every breath and the way the breeze feels on my body and the sounds that are around me. There's a meditative quality to that. It doesn't have to be sitting, ohm, you know, in silence. And, and then when you start to notice your thoughts are racing, that you feel like you've failed, you know, that that's not, that, you know, meditative a meditative state can come at any time. It comes, it could come when you're working out, you know, whatever allows you to not cling to thoughts and hold them in your mind so that they grow and, and fester, you know, whatever it is that allows you to let those thoughts pass and, and come and go and come and go because the thoughts aren't ever going to stop, but just being able to pull back and be the observer of them and whatever that is, if it's rocking your baby that brings you meditate, if it's listening to music, li literally dancing in celebration, that could have a meditative quality. And that brings you to the center and the silence within you. Okay? So there's that. <laughs> okay. And then the um, external, the last external energy here and kind of the um, overview of the reading is integration. So you're getting this. You're in, you're merging, you know, your sense of outer and inner and mind and body and, um, you know, self and other, you're merging it all. You're getting, um, the flow of it. And it does start with your attachment or your acknowledgement and expression of your joy. Okay. That's where it's going to lead you to a better sense of balance at this time. Okay, Sag? So get out there and dance. <laughs> Have some fun. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I can't believe it's almost, it's almost November, but I will see you guys again in November. Okay, take care. Bye.